My name is Lexia Rakilaji, Bishop Kenya Michael Otome, speaking in Nairobi National Government. Today, uh, here in Ambakazi Village, uh, we, we call it Ambakazi East Constituency. We are going to read the Word of God uh, from the book of Matthew, chapter 2, verse, verse 14 to 16, thereabout. And uh, we are going to read about, you know, a kind of escape. To run from something dangerous, to draw closer to God, which will save you. Alright? You know, to run from danger. We are told here, yeah, the escape to Egypt, Jesus Christ, together with parent, decided to run to Egypt, an African country, Okay, we are told here, so he got up, took the child, which is Jesus Christ, and his mother Mary, during the night, and left for Egypt, where he stayed until the death of Herod, King Herod, and uh, so was fulfilled what the Lord had said through the prophet, out of Egypt I will call my son. It is so astonishing for us to read this story of a king, which was fearing a child, all right? God can cause a king to fear a child, a baby child, uh, to cause a lot of uh, problems. Why? We are told again in the same context, eh? in verse 16, when the King Herod realized that uh, this escape was successful, all right, he realized that he had been outwitted by, uh, you know, some visitors from uh, Far East, uh, you know, Persia, who wanted to come and, uh, you know, visit Jesus Christ during his birth, the birth, eh? uh, when he was given birth by Mary. He, they outwitted him because they realized that the king was so furious and he wanted to kill the, the child. He was told that this child will be a king. So when they realized about that, that they outwitted, Okay, he became so furious and orders, uh, you know, soldiers to kill all the boys in, in Bethlehem and its vicinity who are two years old and, uh, and, uh, and under in accordance with the time he had learned from them. Those sisters called Maggie. All the young, young boys of Israel, and they are, uh, you know, about the, it is stated here about that kind of age, yeah? it is written two years old and under, to be killed, because now he did not succeed to kill the child. When the devil, the devil can use even those people in authority to cause a lot of deaths. Like our Kenya president now is killing us in many ways. The one I have toppled, okay, the former Kenya president, you know, His Excellency Dr. William Samarito, I have toppled him on May 20, 2024. To the, to, to, uh, the death was actually May 20, 2024. All right? La, that was on Monday. When he left actually to go and plan to go and kill uh, IT people, I also planned to make sure that he will not come back and kill us. So uh, I just want to tell you, even like this King Herod, our president, Dr. William Ruto, is thirsty, a man which is a thirsty kind of a blood ruler, a thirsty kind of a killer, murderous man. He's killing us economically, socially, spiritually, and physically. Yeah, we don't have now a better place of worship. Everybody is just worshiping in his own house and taking money from human beings. We don't have a, you know, stream kind of religion in Kenya now. He has, he has an endless child. He's employing fake pastors. So long as you are just singing a kind of a song, a parrot, being a parrot, all right, to say you, you, you dear, uh, you fought for Ruto, you will be given a kind of a collar to be a priest, to counterfeit with us who are trained priests. I'm trained priest of Kenya. Four years at the Capsule Bible College, I see a credit college, African and Chai. I've also trained for uh, many years in a degree also uh, level, about three years in a Vision International University, Ramona, California, an affiliate campus of U.S. here, America, which was in Lemuru, I graduated. I also completed Islamic studies, all right, long time ago, 
degree level still you can read this is my Quran all right this is my Quran Holy Quran I honor both books all right the Holy Quran is here I've studied also from uh, 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 Columbia International University as well as I've completed Islamic studies all right to know God and to make him known all right it is here I said on separate occasion, I honor both books, okay, after studying, not actually those parroting pastors who are trained, who are just saying people, the, the, the Holy Quran is not right, when they have not, they, they have not even known the Bible, and they, they have never been to go to any training, I've done the studies, so remember, God is when, in Quran 112, and Exodus chapter 20, verse 3, and God is nearer to us. Okay, very close nearer to us than your own jungle, a kind of a vein which is around your neck. So, God is very closer to you. You can also read that one in Quran, chapter 50, verse 16. The Holy Quran here this is setting clearly the Holy Quran here that God is nearer you than your jungle, a kind of a vein. Okay, He's very closer. The one of jungle van, which is actually the one which is helping me to pump the blood for me to survive. All right, though the heart and other areas. So what I want to say, God is near you, but if you come across uh, across our president, the former president, according to me, I am a Samburu Masai community from far end, Marsabit, Mukunduya, Kenya County. All right, near the border of Kenya and Ethiopia. Because I'm a Samburu Masai community. Eh? We look like Ethiopians. Because we are near the border of Kenya and Ethiopia. And also we are bordering, you know, Somalia control the uh, federal state of our uh, gear. So we have a lot of entomologists there and crossbreeding. So don't mind when you see me looking like also those part of human beings. Because Samburu maybe may not look like this. People are calling me Oriya. All right. All right. So that's not a big issue. What do I want to tell you if you come across our president? Tell him that Bishop Kenya Makarol Tome is now the president of Kenya, United States of Kenya Republic. Report the nearest police. I'm not like other politicians whom this man has been actually teasing all through, including even the chief of general staff, telling me I will kill you and he kill him. No, I'm not like that. I'm a priest, a uh, prophet like Samuel, who has killed also a, 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 the, the king of, a, a, of a Malachites was finished so many Israelites. Read actually first Samuel chapter 15, verse 32 and 33. So uh, uh, King, uh, King Saul refused to kill an enemy, an enemy of the people of Israel and others, okay, called Agag. And he, uh, the man of God decided to kill him. Prophet like me, okay, uh, you know, uh, Samuel, Prophet Samuel. So I will not actually allow criminals to kill human beings. I will first uh, root out squarely, squarely, okay? Actually, I will tackle that bull by the horns. Actually, whenever I meet him, because he's a killer. That general here, you can see it in my house there. He's here, General Gola. If you all go to YouTube, if you go to the, the, some few days of the president who was actually sworn in, he told him, I will kill you because you have come to check a uh, what uh, whether I, uh, uh, you have been coming to undermine my my election as if it was only one and is the one who is above him, him that day chief deputy chief of kenya defense forces a man telling him you are not supposed to be where he was up to uh up to today he killed him uh using uh, you know uh, he told him to kill the power of the tongue and he did it and we are dying even here because of lack of resources, it doesn't matter whether he has actually told him he will kill him, he's always killing us by denying us social services, no water, no clean water, no health, no even workers, uh, you know, salaries, all right? And uh, he's, whenever people are calling him to come and help them, like recently here in one of the 17 courses of Nairobi, he decided to make them actually demolish their own, uh, you know, slums in Mazare, and he did it several, severally in, in, this, in Nairobi. I will tackle that bull by the horns, and I don't see surely, honestly speaking. I am saying if I will come across the president, I will tell him you are not my president. And I am not the, the rest of other priests. He is saying now Kikuyus 
and uh, you know lawyers and others those politicians are using you know stones to to throw to soldiers and in the evening they are, they are back again so he's saying they are coward kikuyus and uh, lawyers i am an adult like him i am the chairman of kamatusa uh, kalenjin masai turkana samburu and uh, and uh, luo we will not throw stones he knows what we are going to throw to him all right together with this uh, this people is saying now is forcing to kill people anyhow we are not the type of people samburu and Mas samburu masai community we are not the people who you can test all right to throw stones or to kumagmagia or maji na wanatoroka kwa barabara ya narobi we are not like that we are not like that to be watched by the police eh? and we run away like other politicians na hiyo mtu amesoa hiyo tabia mbaya our president now can come just and tell you i will kill you and he will kill you he will also face death himself we want him to abort all the fear, all the planes whatever he is all right because now this man is actually is not aborting even uh, you know he's going to hire transport from dubai to go to america and he actually he took a lot of money from this country 2 million kenya shillings to go and give the dubai country air force jet, a jet of, of that and we have jet here in i'm very close to where there is in 75 eh? kenya i mean one of the barracks here with a lot of planes he is refusing to use this jet fighters he is using using he's afraid to take even the one of a map Moi Airbus Nayuki he is afraid to take the one of that silly Air Force Air Force and he want people to abort bad uh, bad planes then it means this man is a killer so king herod was afraid because of a small kids a child was born and he decided to kill so many children out of his dictator kind of life deliberately children who are two years and, a, and and below this one is also killing even the same we don't have food. What's the difference with this man and uh, also uh, King Herod? So I will tackle our president by the horns. I will tackle that bull by the horns. I, Bishop Kenya Michael Otome, I am now United States of Kenya Republic president. So as he has no reason why they should even think of impeaching him. I have already tabled him. So just relax. And I have also told, uh, you know, I have also, I'm getting even some other news break. We were sending me information from Haiti. And I have also, he has it, I, am used, I have told him, okay, because those people are now, uh, you know, protesting worldwide, even in America, they are feeding me the information. I told them, relax, because this, we have a person here who does not obey the law of God and the law of the land, which is the president, and I have told him. We have doubled the president. I have doubled the president. So I am the president of Kenya Republic, United States of Kenya Republic, 47 in, uh, inter-independent federal states. That's why I call it the United States of Kenya Republic. My government is here. All right, I'm not short of knowledge. My vice president is retired the Kenya Army Brigadier. All right, uh, His Excellency Nico Gubo is going to deputize me. My powerful prime minister will be Kalonso Msioka. All right, and also my wife, near future, very around the corner, is none other than, uh, you know, uh, Honorable Winim Karela Molodinga, the youngest daughter of our Pre Supreme People's Power President, His Excellency Sir Dr. William, uh, Dr. Raila Molodinga. Youngest daughter of our Supreme People's Power President, His Excellency Sir, you know, Raila Amolo Odinga. We name her Raila Amolo Odinga is the youngest daughter of uh, that family, and is East African Legislative Member of Parliament, East African Legislative Member of Parliament. In near future, I'm going to marry her to be my first lady priestess to help me in politics because I'm now the president and I need a strong woman who will have an office who will also give me an advice and also have a, a say in the government policies like that one now with master's degree in political science and none other than uh, we need Imgat Raila Amolo Odinga. So what I want to say I just want to show you that let's grow closer to God so that he can grow closer to us. If you read actually Psalms 130 9 verse 1 and 2, God is everywhere, is near you. Also in Quran, uh, that, uh, uh, chapter 50, verse 16, the Quran says, God is nearer to you than your jungle vent. So I can sing now my mother language. Maasai, this are the uh, Maasai hymn book. We call it Sungoleti Lengotu Maasai. We call it, you know, songs of Maasai's community. 
Um, go to Sungole Zilan go to Galmasai. Niyana. You know, Niara, my God, uh, Niara, my God, Ti. Niara, my God, to Ti. Kanye kake ye kayai. Kanye kake naleng ye so Christo. I ye boge gata. Kanye kake ye kanye kake naleng ye kayai. Niara my God to thee in my language, my mother tongue, that is Masai. Samburu soft right. Kai rang e rang o shi a te e go A ta la ka tu ko le na e nghe Ki bo i ta ta na rak Ka nyi ka ghe ye Ka nyi ka ghe na le nghe Ka yo ai And the following you can also because it's a standard song which is found also in Nearer My God to the RS 569. Alright. It is actually my refuge and the rock of my life. Eh? Alright, for stress. That is my God. So I'm very proud of God. Alright, and he also assured me to be brave and courageous in Joshua 1 9 to tackle this bull which is killing us. The former Kenya president, Honorable Winnie, uh, Honorable, uh, you know, William Samaruto. William Samaruto is no longer now Kenya president. I am the one. And if you come across him, alright, the former president of this country, tell him, Lolto is looking for you. Michael Otome, Bishop Kenya Michael Otome, is looking for you to question you and to hand over notes together with your administration, unit leaders, all right, public servants, as well as political class unit for those years you have been there, which is actually 2022 up to now. We need actually the budget, the yearly budget, all right, the money I was actually having. Uh, I don't care about the other government, but his government, he has to give us, you know, a yearly development program project money from the year 2022 uh, uh, to 2023 and 2023 uh, 20, uh, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, to In relation to what? Capital expenditure, recurrent expenditure, and also, uh, you know, uh, supplementary expenditure. He has to hand over how this money has been utilized. Because we don't see the money flowing into this kind of a now, they call it a bottom up. Alright? We want now to come things to be reversed, to start from here. We want to see now how, how much money has given us from bottom up, then that case. How much money has been given to this county government, particularly this one now I'm speaking, Nairobi National Government and Pakasi is consulting. We want to know now how much money has been allocated to us during this, uh, the former president re. And I want even the president of America to let him come and hand over notes, whatever he is, and if it, whatever he is, he need to come and hand over the note in state house. All right? He need to come and hand over the money which is allocated for this consulate and Pakas this consulate. I don't, we will also know the other 17 consulate. All right? The rest are remaining in Nairobi, 17 consulates and 85 uh, words assemblies. We need the money from the year 22. 2023, 2023, 2024. We are now about about some few months. He has been ruling us, all right. August uh, last year to August, uh, you know, 23 is one year, and this year now is about five months. So it's about 15 months. About there, he has ruled us. We need the money from that period of time, and we will know. They will also give us the kind of development program projects. They have, a, they, have a, they have to write down and we will go and witness. Failure of which will freeze the account completely. Alright? We will freeze the account. And anybody again now who is all having 50 to 100 acres of land, he has to pay tax. And they are beyond that, he has also, you know, to forfeit lands. For, because we have so many vagabonds, people without lands. 
And we don't want one person or 10 people to own all the Republic of Kenya. We will actually not ask you if we get a place which we see it is, it is deemed fit to give the vagabond families without, uh, without farms, without lands, we will not ask you. Well, okay, in my government, you will not own the all Kenya by 10 people and the rest are dying. We all rise up or fall down. We all rise up or fall. You cannot eat food and throw the dogs when some of us are sleeping in a, uh, angry. You cannot go and protect your children, okay? And you kill others. From the chief of, gender, chief of defense forces, all down the line up to anybody, up to children of uh, two years and, uh, uh, and below. Like what our president and now the former president is doing. All right, he's like a king hero who can kill even even two children. So we will not actually allow such a kind of a thing to happen. So actually, God is nearer to us, like even our, you know, our, our young love friend, and we will not actually allow someone to kill us in this world. Get rid of anybody who is killing you. Be it the president, be it anybody. That is my word. And I will pray for me in the name of Jesus Christ and the name of Allah.